Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another seven box all-star baseball mixer, random team break number two. This is featuring um, another Hit Parade Jaspi collaboration. Here's a 2023 Jaspi's exclusive baseball big box edition. A lot of fun memorabilia in there, plus five other really nice boxes here. Some 2023 Finest, some 2022 Bowman Draft First Edition. Now the big box, the two big boxes are behind me. They are all memorabilia. So most of them is going to be pretty obvious. Their team logo or team stamp or something like that is going to be on there. There's also often a, often a autographed baseballs on there. Those, aren't, those don't always have some sort of logo stamped on it. So if there's no team on the item, it'll go to the team they're currently on if active or the team they played for the longest if retired. Now, let's say there's an inscription right that, that highlights no hitter in a particular season, it'll be that team. So if there's like some sort of identifying team logo or year or date, right, we'll, we'll, we'll go that way. I think that makes the most logical sense there. All right, so, and at the end, it's a wax party invite break too. So a lot of stuff going on here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. A five and a five, 10 the hard way. So Tyler, what's going on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. We got Carl, CKH, all the way down to CKH. Five and a five, ten times for teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got the Rangers down to the Rockies. So ten, we got ten there and ten there. Let's match it with teams right here. All right, Carl with the Rangers, Reds, Brewers. Eugene with the Marlins, Carl with the Twins, Allen, Blue Jays, last spot mojo, Scott with the Phillies, Carl with uh, Orioles, Cubs, Mets, and my Dodgers, Jason with the spot that you won in the filler, the Red Sox, Carl with the Angels and Braves, Gilo with the Guardians, Carl with the Mariners, Rays, Giants, Cardinals, Tigers, Padres, Nationals, White Sox, and Yankees, Michael with the Diamondbacks, Jeremy with the Royals, Austin with the Astros, Scott with the A's, and Carl with the Pirates and Rockies. All right, and now let's alphabetize by first name. And we're gonna pause the video when we come back, or first name, by, by the, alphabetically by team. And then when we come back, we're gonna pause the video, we're gonna come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break, stick around, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so the list right here remains the same here on True Tuesday, July 11th, 7 11. 2023. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're gonna start with the base heavier stuff first, and then we'll get around to these this memorabilia. Remember the 2022 Bowman Draft First Edition ended up being in a easy individually individual boxes here. So use really powerful plastic on here. All right, good luck, everyone. How did what did everyone think about the All Star Game? The National League finally, finally winning one. They won three two. Elias Diaz's go ahead home run was the difference maker. He ended up winning the MVP as well. Did everyone have Elias Diaz as MVP? I wonder what his odds were at the beginning of the game. White Sox is uh, Luis Robert injured in the home run derby. So he's out of the all-star game. Blue Jays is Romano and exits all-star game with back tightness. MLB Players Association want tweaks to the pitch timer before the playoffs. 
I agree with that. Rob Manfred, Kamish, saying uh, that the A's have begun the relocation process. They submitted the application. I read this article during, well, it's during my dinner break, but they um, they received the you know the application to to officially move. <laughs> but one thing they have to they have to add is where they're going to play in the interim when their lease runs out in 2024 and before the stadium. 2024, I think, when the, before the stadium opens up in 2026, something like that. I think they got to figure out where they're going to play in 2025, maybe even 2026. I would, I would imagine it would be. I don't know where they play actually. I would imagine they would play at the A's AAA stadium, and just the. I mean, it would be kind of a. Scheduling might be very, very odd. So they could try to play there. <coughs> or would they make them play in a completely different city? That would be interesting. I don't know if that's happened before. I <laughs> just share with the Raiders again. That'd be kind of funny considering how much uh, Raiders owner um, how much he hates the Oakland owner. There's Jackson Holiday for the Orioles. That's for Carl. Yeah, uh, Mark Davis, Raiders owner, con con has has made it very clear that that if the A's owner who didn't f around with the leasing situation for the Coliseum, that wouldn't have the Raiders would still be in Oakland. I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't think the stadium can even sustain a baseball field the way it's configured. There's Anthony Gutierrez for the Rangers. That's for Carl. My guess is they, they'll just play in the in the AAA arena. But I feel like it'd be sort of a scheduling nightmare. There's Jordan Walker to 75. It would be interesting. That's for the Cardinals. That's for... Uh, that's for Carl. What if they made the A's? I don't know if baseball can make the team do anything like that, but it'd be. Well, I don't know. What if the? What if Major League Baseball says, "Hey, we'll make it really easy for you to make this move if you play in an area where we're exploring whether a Major League Baseball team could be sustainable." You know what I mean? Expansion has always been on the mind of of baseball these days. Kobe Mayo goes to Carl and the Orioles, and um, you know Portland has been talked about. Montreal has been talked about. Vegas are A's already filling Vegas, so that market's already set. North Carolina, maybe Charlotte, Memphis. There's Gabriel Rincones to the Phillies, Scott. So what if they said, hey, you know, we'll make this relocation thing really easy for you if you go play somewhere, <coughs> somewhere else, somewhere where we want you to play. You know, just to just to take the temperature, there's Ronald's brother, Luis Angel Acuna, for Carl and the Rangers. You know, we'll just see, just so we can take the temperature of baseball fan interest there. I think that would be a great idea. You know, and I, I know it's not going to be the permanent team going to play in, say, Memphis or whatever. But if all the local fans know that, you know, it's like, hey, do you want a baseball stadium here? Rally around. Rally to the ballpark. And, you know, buy some once-in-a-lifetime Memphis A's merch or something like that. It's Benny Montgomery going to uh, Carl and the Rockies. <coughs> I, think, I think that'd be an interesting idea. I don't, I don't know if I don't know if that's even something that is allowed under the rules or 
I don't know if I know the NFL. I think has a relocation fee, right? If a team moves, like when Mark Davis moved the Raiders to Vegas, when Kroenke moved the Rams to LA, I think there was some sort of. There had to have been some sort of. Uh, I think there's a relocation fee. You pay the league something, and then it gets split amongst the teams or something like that. I wonder if baseball is the same thing. Scott, what's up? How does the MLB season overlap with college baseball? Could they rent some games at UNLV? Does UNLV have their own baseball stadium? College season is spring. I guess late winter. Is, isn't it like when, does, when did Thomas play? Our guy Thomas plays for Cal State Fuller or Cal State uh, Northridge. We're just a couple games away from doing College World Series stuff. But. Um, I don't know. I feel like that that's a that's a spring sport, right? You play for a few months in the spring, like February, February, March, April. And then May and June are like tournaments and college base World Series -y stuff. Yeah, John's saying it's a spring sport, right? So yeah, they technically could. And it'd probably be easier to move move the college team and have them, if there's a conflict, they could move the college team to the AAA stadium. I guess maybe it'd be harder to, it might be harder to switch a AAA schedule around. But they've got a decent AAA stadium there. Right, UNLV football shares the same with the Raiders, right? But they've got a small. That'd be cool to see, to see the to see the A's in a, to see the A's in a college state. To see any major league baseball team in a college baseball stadium would be awesome. Yeah, Mark Davis definitely, like I said to Gilo, Mark Davis will definitely not be hosting the A's, though. I think playing a season in a different place would be interesting. We got Henry Mendez to 150 for the Brewers. That's for Carl. An all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. So you'll you'll get all these. Might be worth looking up some of these Bowman first. See what their progress is in the minors. John remembers playing baseball snow flurries at Ohio. Ohio State? There is Clark Elliott to 150. Do they still do baseball games at the college? They did not do it this time, or this year. There's ED Cap to set him up in the Astrodome. Is that still standing? What do they do with the Astrodome? I remember a ways back Ohio University, not Ohio State University. Is that what you're saying? Still standing, huh? Not the Ohio State University? University of Ohio? Toledo? Hey, still D1. Still D1. There's Mikey Romero to 150 going to Boston. That'll be for Jason K. I feel like uh, a number of years ago, a couple guys snuck into the Astrodome, the little largely abandoned but still standing Astrodome, and then they just wandered around, drinking some beer, smoking some weed maybe, and they were just like, here's what it looks like inside, and it was like kind of creepy. This cavernous dome. And maybe, you know, it was just really creepy. Oh, Athens. University of Ohio, Athens, home of the Bobcats. Carl knows him. 25 years ago. Nice. 
One of our one of our guys here that works here is a pitcher for Cal State Fullerton. Cal I keep saying Fullerton. That's where Justin Turner went. Um, Cal State Northridge, just over the hill in the valley. He's pitching pretty well. We're crossing. He's crossing his fingers more than us, but we're crossing fingers fingers that he may uh, he may this time next year maybe hear his name get called in the draft. He's already had a teammate. get called up he was talking about guys who got drafted that he struck out I was like that's right that, that's that got to be on the tape for the scouts next year let me actually take this stuff out of inventory here Two boxes of that. Mixer number two. Sorry, I should have done that. I always forget to do this before the break. 2023 finest. That's three boxes of that. That's five total. Minus the two here. That's seven total. So we have two, four, six boxes left. So we have break three, four, and five left to go. I mean, even if Thomas gets, <laughs> I'm trying to think about this Bowman draft. We see like late round picks, right? Fifth, sixth round picks. You know? Maybe the boss man can pull some strings with some of the folks he knows and at tops. Make sure our guy gets uh, gets cards in here, which would be which would be awesome. John says I led the team and hit batters as a relief guy. And then ended up playing right field. Good velo, no control. Gilo saying, I played T-ball as a kid. Your average was 1,000. What, after one at bat? Got him. One at bat, and then like, that's it, Gabe. That's as good as it's going to get for your baseball career. A sporting regret in my life, and maybe this is, this is more, more putting the blame on my parents, is I did not play organized baseball as a kid. Did a lot of soccer, did a lot of tennis, a lot of swimming, so it's not like we, we, we did not do athletic activities, but it's just baseball just wasn't there. Football, obviously, and basketball, for obvious reasons, but, but yeah. I played a lot of like pickup baseball. My cousins played like my cousins played through high school. They started. They were pretty good. Did a lot of music. Grew, grew up playing a lot of playing a lot of music. There's Shane Bieber, and behind him is Drew Waters, 47 out of 150. Just as I took a swig of water. Royals, that's going to be for Jeremy. When the spot he got straight up. Shane Bieber, the Biebs, to 199 for Cleveland. That's for Gabe. Cleveland, this is for you. There's Mookie Betts to 300. That'll be for my Dodgers. That'll be for Carl. Played a lot of pickup baseball. My cousins used to live in San Jose. There's Joey Manessis. And they lived on a cul-de-sac, a lot of neighborhood kids who played baseball. So there are a lot of summers playing baseball like the old days, from from lunch to till our parents yelled at us to come inside. Joey Manessis for Carl and the Nationals. And there's Cal Mitchell. 
says two chrome ma autos per master box. This is already three. We've got a bonus auto here. Cal Mitchell refractor auto going to the Pirates. That'll be for Carl. And so will this uh, Adley Rushman refractor. That's pretty nice. John, you tried out for the Reds. They asked me to pay them, pay them for their time. <laughs> Yeah, you can come by our open tryouts for a thousand dollars. Like, wait a second. Julio Rodriguez to one seventy-five. Aqua Shimmer. Gilo says I paid uh, all sports except for soccer. Soccer's pretty funny. I enjoy it. It's Corbin Carroll purple. Nice, Michael with the Diamondbacks. Yeah, basketball, obviously, uh, I'm quite short. Never worked for me. I attempted to play, but this was definitely, I was even short in elementary school. So, um, I was even short in elementary school. I was always last picked on basketball teams. I like I was relatively well liked in elementary, so it wasn't because I was not liked. It was because you know, I was just too short. It wasn't very good. But um, yeah, football. I was obviously too small. I did play sort of a middle tier um, intramural college football, five on five, I wanna say. Pretty decent at that. Obviously, due to my size, I would get murdered on a high school football field. Besides Thomas, who is the most athletic Jaspies guy? I think Michael Jaspi, who's on vacation now, I think he'll be back from Europe soon. Michael Jaspi, who does our eBay and who you see sometimes on here, he played high school baseball. Could he have played college baseball? Maybe. I don't know if he wanted to. I'm not sure. Maybe he was close. I'll have to ask him. I'll have to ask him about that. Um, great golfer. That's pretty athletic. Ramon, one of our sorters and shippers here that you don't really see on camera, sort of the behind the scenes guy. I want to say he played high school football. And he played a lot of soccer. Jason played high school football. He was QB for his high school football. Jason's got a really good arm. Francisco Alvarez and Larry Walker. Nice. 7 out of 25. Orange Shimmer autograph. That's for Carl and the Rockies. Nick. Nick is athletic. He, 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 I think he did well in his elementary. He's got some, I think some, uh, he's got some asthma issues that have always sort of, I think maybe put a cap on his, uh, his possible progression. But like, you stick a, a, you know, a bat in his hands, he can swing the bat pretty well. You know, he's pretty long with the golf clubs when I go golfing with him, so. So I, I would say he is athletic. But maybe didn't get a really get a fair fair shake. There's Nick Prado, Joey Manessis to ninety nine for the Nationals. Nick Prado for the Royals goes to Jeremy Port. Mariano Rivera is that is that pattern right there? That might be. A short print, but that's a headliner's Mariano Rivera for the Yankees. Carl, double check that when you get this. I don't know what Nick's basketball skills are. What his skill level with the basketball is. <laughs> well, he has talked about thinking about putting like a, a hoop on there. I 
Nick is probably, again, it's the, 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 the asthma thing kind of got in the way for him, I feel like, which I think is a frustration, but, but like, I think he feel like he, if he just spot up and shot, I think he'd be pretty good. I think he might just be a good shooter. Chris Jaspi, also good with the golf sticks. He's pretty long with the clubs. And I think he was a starting, he was, I think he was a starting pitcher, JV, or uh, varsity baseball through high school. So he's got a good arm. In spite of my size limitations, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty pretty good playing sports, some tennis at least. I can swim pretty decently. Too short for swimming too, I'm not long enough for swimming, for competitive swimming anyway. I may not be an athlete, but I, I feel like I am athletic. Does that make sense? Um, Jaspi's, well, we're still, believe it or not, Jimmy, we're still kind of a small team. So, like, a, a, a Jaspi softball team would consist of pretty much the, pretty much the entire staff. So we'd have to, like, pretty much shut down the store and not do a live stream one night. There's Shay Langliers to 175. You know, if we do that often enough, then we're not paying those guys. I, <laughs> we're not making the money to pay the guys to be on the softball team and, and the slippery slope to... Uh, we've thought about it, though. We've definitely... We, we, especially with, like, some, some, uh, with a college baseball player on our team who can still hit the ball pretty well. He's a pitcher, but he can still hit the ball pretty well. And with some, some high school baseball guys... Um, some varsity high school baseball guys that are with us too. I'm like, man, you know, I'll be happy to, I'll be happy to play like deep right field and and hit ninth on that team to be just fine. Yeah, lots of really good baseball, lots of really good softball teams down here too. I remember in college playing. Ooh, nice Nick Prado. So we got a Nick Waters for, for Jeremy in the Royals, and now a rookie's Nick Prado autograph. There you go, Jeremy. Ever played slosh ball, Jimmy? I was, I, was, I was on a pretty good slosh ball team. My newspaper staff versus another newspaper staff in college. You put, a, you put a pony keg at second base, and you have to drink a red cup before you advance. And if someone ends up running behind you, you can't advance and the person in front of you has to finish your drink before you can advance. All right, we're done with this. Now for the memorabilia. Let's make some room for myself here. <coughs> All right. We're gonna put that one over here for now, just behind me. Just because I need a little room for this break. Yeah, slosh ball is a great rite of passage. We had a ringer on our team. You remember uh, you remember old Padres third baseman? Sean Burroughs. Their dad, Jeff Burroughs, actually. Uh, there's a mini box right, mini helmet right here. Their, their dad, Jeff Burrow, I think, won a MVP for the AL in the early 70s or something like that. Sean Burroughs, unfortunately, unfortunately, had a lot of sort of addiction issues after a series of injuries. And they, they, they finally lost him for a while. They found him homeless in Vegas. 
and then he made a recovery and came back and played did, did played some games and I think I think he's okay now but Sean Burroughs' brother, Sean Burroughs' brother Scott, used to work for our newspaper staff, and he was a good ball player in his own right, you know. And um, and uh, yeah, he would be our ringer for his first softball team. I played all right. All right, well, is the next one almost sold out? I think I could squeeze another one in before the night is out. Yeah, I'll add some more full spots back in. We can do another one of these and probably be the last break of the night. All right, I need to put Tom's on camera for the summer. He's working the shop for the summer for us, Rex. So yo, you want to get chummy with him so when he gets into the bigs, you can work, work him for some memorabilia. Oh no, if, if he gets drafted by the Cubs, Rex, I'll be happy for him, but. All right, quick little who am I on this autograph baseball. Retired baseball player, five-time World Series winner. I mean, that's all you and lefty outfielder. How many, how many players, he's 60 years old now, but. How many players have that caliber have won five World Series? <laughs> Played for the uh, Reds for a while, but won his five World Series with his next team. Yep, John and Jimmy's got it. It's Paul O'Neill. Ooh, and it's a black baseball Paul O'Neill with gold ink. That's awesome. Nice. You got all the paperwork in there as well. Carl with the Yankees. Wait, did he win one with the Reds? Oh, he was on that 91 Reds team, right? The Jose Rio year. Was it, was it the Jose Rio year? Next feels like the jersey. And this one's pretty obvious, right? Can you guess this auto? You can tell the team. Which will be which will be for Alan Murdoch, last spot mojo, Blue Jays. Actually, Alan, this is a great time to get this guy. Yep, Kevin's, Kevin and Dan's got it. Vlad Guerrero Jr. This looks like an officially licensed jersey, too. Were they all officially licensed? Good time to get him. And it should have all the official logos and and all that beautiful stuff so I, it's going to be a good looking one last bought mojo as well 70 percent of the time last bought mojo hits 100 percent of the time can we do this one first oh <laughs> a hit parade box, a card. I don't know, no word on what edition this is. If it's limited, platinum, sapphire. 
Oh. It is Nolan Gorman. Nice. An autograph on his Bowman first. Authentic autograph. 19th overall pick, first rounder. Nice. That's easy. That's going to go to the Reds. That'll be for Carl. Put that along with the other cards. Oh, we'll send you this pouch too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the bag's shit. Ooh. Oh, everyone's going to know this one. This one's easy. Jose Canseco, Oakland A's helmet, which looks pretty cool. They, they hit you. I, I kind of like this. When they give you the full helmets, these aren't like game used or anything like that. But they are officially licensed. I like the single ear flap. The single ear flap, I think, is pretty nice. So that goes to Scott and the A's. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> uh, no indications of cocaine in here, Carl. I mean, if there was. I'd be breaking until 3 in the morning. Yeah, not game use. So yes, no, no, no cocaine here. Yeah, no, yeah, can't can't do that. Can't ship little dime bags out. That would be. I think that would be trafficking under federal law. I'd rather not do that. I'm uh. Should I test? Should I test it? And the last one here is a Cub. And it's a neon blue autograph right there. Any guesses on that? It's Prospect. I think so far all the mini helmets have been Prospects, by the way. Any guesses there? It's going to go to Carl and the Cubs. I'll give you the first name, Kevin. It's Kevin. Let's see how well know Kevin knows Kevin baseball players. Sorry, Rex. This is for Carl, and this is going to be Kevin Alcantara. might have another one sold out because I just added spots back in I think it resold out again Pattern is pretty pretty similar. There's the autograph baseball. 
Feels like a mini helmet, another mini helmet. Another full size helmet. A jersey, oh, the jersey. And this one has a couple extra things here. What feels like some sort of book or program. This feels like another Hit Parade box. And this is box four out of 10. The other one was two out of 10. If you're keeping track at home. Hit Parade and Obsidian Basketball sold out. Well, one of those we're not gonna have time for, unfortunately, but we'll go through, we'll go through and figure it out. First to fill, first to break. All right, we've got Khalil Watson. For Miami, that's going to be for Eugene and the Marlins. Get some coke and do them both? I don't know. I think it might be too late. The coke shop closes early. We've got Robin Yount. What is this? It's an official game program. You got Robin Yount through the years. And a free collector card inside. That's going to go to the Brewers. That will be for. That's going to be for Carl. We've got. Oh, that's Kurt Schilling. I was like, I, there it is. Kurt Schilling reverse the curse. Indeed. Red Sox, that'll be for Jason K with a spot that he won in the filler. I think we're not going to play Who Am I anymore. I want to try to squeeze in all of the breaks tonight. All right, let's get the baseball out of the way first. Or else I got to call my guy and he's going to be like, what? <laughs> this is a gold baseball. That is Luis Gonzalez. Is there any team marking on here? No, it's just a gold baseball. Luis Gonzalez played for who the longest? Diamondbacks? Yeah, he played with the Diamondbacks for eight seasons. Next closest was Houston, seven seasons. According to baseballreference.com. Michael with Arizona. Poor Kurt. I mean, he should be in the Hall of Fame, right? Necessarily, uh, <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with Kurt as a uh, in a personal sense, but I feel like he's got to be in the Hall of Fame. We got an Astro. It's gonna be any guesses there? This is actually not a prospect. This is our first non-prospect mini helmet.
for Austin and the Astros. Not Biggio, close. It's one of the killer bees. It could be full size for Altuve. Nice one. One more guess. Someone's got to get it. Yep, D Man. Bagwell. Bagsy. Isn't that what I said? His politics got him blackballed. That's, I'm saying he should be in the Hall of Fame because it's about his playing. And we know this guy, one of the nicest guys in baseball, according to people in baseball. And that's Carl with the Braves. All right. Congrats, Carl. There you go, gang. Nice Dale Murphy helmet. Now, no other randomizers except for a wax party randomizer. So let's gather everybody's name. So even if you didn't get anything nice out of here, cross your fingers. Maybe you'll end up with a wax party spot and get something nice once we fill up that wax party invite list. We're getting close. Four and a four, eight times. Four and a four, eight the hard way. Name on top after eight. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Now, Carl's got a lot of spots. Is his name up there or did someone pip him for a spot? Someone did. Gilo, Gabe, with the wax party invite after four and a four, eight the hard way. Sorry, Carl, but congrats to Gabe. We'll see you in the wax party, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.